हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर विल स्टडी अबाउट क्योर्स फॉर लो और पावर फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्टर्बेंसेस पावर फ्रिक्वेंसी और लो फ्रिक्वेंसी डिस्टर्बेंसेस आर स्लो फिनोमिना कॉस्ट बाय स्विचिंग इवेंट्स रिलेटेड टू द पावर फ्रिक्वेंसी सच डिस्टर्बेंसेस आर डिस्पर्स विथ टाइम once the incident causing the disturbance is removed this allows the power system to return to normal operation now let us start uh, with isolation transformer isolation transformers as their name indicates have primary and secondary windings which are separated by an insulating or isolating medium Isolation transformers do not help in curing voltage sags or swells. They merely transform the voltage from a primary level to secondary level to enable a power transfer from one winding to the other. However, if the problem is due to common mod noise, isolation transformer help to minimize noise coupling. and shielded isolation transformer can help to a greater degree common mode noise is equally present in the line and the neutral circuit with respect to ground common mode noise may be converted to transverse mode noise which is noise between line and neutral in electrical circuit which is troublesome for the sensitive data and signal circuit shielded isolation transformer can limit amount of common mode noise to be converted into transverse mode noise the effectiveness with which a transformer limits common mode noise is called attenuation and it is uh, indicated in decibels we can write a is equal to 20 log v1 divided by v2 where v1 is the common mode noise voltage at the transformer primary and v2 is the differential mode noise at the transformer secondary and we have one shielded isolation transformer which is used to attenuate the primary to secondary the presence of shield between the primary and secondary winding reduce the interwinding capacitance and thereby reduces noise coupling between the two winding then we have next uh, voltage regulator voltage regulators are devices that can maintain a constant voltage within a tolerance for voltage changes of predetermined limit above and below the nominal value in the diagram we can see one voltage regulator switching type of voltage regulator the electronic switch respond to a signal from the voltage sensing circuitry and switches to the tap connection necessary to maintain the output voltage constant the switching is typically accomplished within half of a cycle which is within the right through capability of most sensitive device so we can observe one uh, voltage sensor here and this switch gives the signal to change the tapping and we can maintain the output constant voltage we have ferro resonant voltage regulator that is one of the static type of voltage regulator first we have seen switching type of voltage regulator this is ferro resonant voltage regulator this is static device that have no moving component they operate on the principle that in a transformer when the secondary magnetic circuit is operating in the saturation region the secondary winding is decoupled from the primary and therefore is not sensitive to voltage changes in the primary the secondary winding has a capacitor connected across its terminal that forms a parallel resonant circuit with the 
inductance of the secondary winding large magnetic fields are created in the magnetic core surrounding the secondary windings thereby decoupling the secondary winding from the primary so thank you very much for watching my video keep watching thank you very much